Good evening everyone. Today is the 18th Sunday evening and we're going to sing a few hymns and I've entitled this message Fear Not Little Flock and we're going to sing that song at the end of this broadcast. Fear Not Little Flock. I don't know how many people are on the face of the earth, but someone said there's probably close to 9 billion. I don't know what really the number is, but God's remnant is a little flock in comparison to the whole number. Now I'm going to take this camera and put it over here. So we're going to sing several hymns, and we'll be singing three hymns and three of the songs tonight, or at least we'll be attempting to. <laughs> the first one we're going to sing is out of the old school. All of these hymns are going to be out of the old school hymnal because we don't have three Gatsby hymnals, we've probably seen more out of the Gatsby. 513 is the first one. Jesus, blessed Jesus, what a grand and gracious theme. Oh, the precious name of Jesus, what a bright and brilliant beam. Oh, my Jesus, dearest Jesus, how I love to hear the sound. Thou whose name is filled with music, may I in thy love be found. Precious Jesus, fairest Jesus, may I love thee as I should. Thou art altogether lovely, thou art altogether good. Sweet Jesus, wondrous Jesus, what great works thy hands have wrought, what great things were its sinners, oh, how gracious is the thought, oh, thou gracious loving Jesus, wouldst thou raise me to thy feet, so that in such hallowed posture Thy dear name I might repeat Gracious Jesus, lovely Jesus I would dwell before Thy throne Praying, praising, seeking, finding Ever humbly pressing on Oh, dear Jesus, my Lord Jesus, how I love to speak thy name. Thou art lovely on thy mountains, in our valleys you're the same. Gracious Jesus, my dear Savior, thou thy Father's darling Son, now we hope one day to see thee when our race down here is run. Okay, the next one we're going to sing is 213. 213. Oh, for a breeze of heavenly 
and dwell in tents of wickedness. For God the Lord is shield and sun, the Lord shall grace and glory give. No good will he withhold from one who does uprightly walk and live. O Lord of hosts, how blessed is he who places all his trust in him. Next one is one ten. One hundred and ten. Jehovah to my Lord is it, see it thou at my right hand. Until I make thy foes to where on thy feet may stand, Jehovah shall from Zion sing the scepter of thy power. In battle with thine enemies, be thou the conqueror, a willing people in thy day. A power shall come to thee, thy youth arrayed in holiness, like morning you shall be. Jehovah swore and from his own, he never will depart. Of the order of Melchizedek, the priest thou ever art. The Lord at thy right hand shall smite first rulers in his wrath. Among the nations he shall judge, the slain shall fill his mouth. In many lands he'll overthrow their kings with ruin dread. And marching he'll drink from the brook, and so lift up his head. in the service today. I pray that you would open your word to us and give us something that we can take with us this week to be an encouragement to us, we pray. Well, I've entitled this message, Fear Not Little Flock. Fear Not Little Flock. There was a time when Elijah was despairing and he was ready to throw in the towel and God said to him, I have 7,000 men that have not bowed the knee to Baal. God still has a remnant according to election of grace today. You know, we're a little flock. There's a lot of people that think that God doesn't have very many people, but you know in the book of Revelation it says he has people from every tongue, every people, and every nation. Myriads of people that have come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ who have been predestinated, have been chosen from the foundation of the world. All the way through the Bible we see that God has had his remnant. He said in the Old Testament, I did not choose you because you were the greatest in number. But I chose you because you were the smallest in number. You know. There's a lot more goats than there are sheep. There's a lot more goats than there are sheep. 
Luke 12, 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. If it's God's good pleasure to give his little flock the kingdom, they most certainly will be recipients of that kingdom. Ezekiel 34, 31 says, And ye my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. Well, Christ is the great shepherd of the sheep and so he feeds his flock like a shepherd feeds the sheep. And Psalm 77 20 says, Thou ledest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Psalm 107, 41. Yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction. And maketh them families like a flock. Often God's people are referred to as the flock or as the sheep, or as the lambs. Well, today we're living in a day where The false teachers want to make everybody the flock. They say, well, we're all God's children. God died for all men without exception. But that's not what the scripture teaches. The scripture teaches that His name shall be called Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. We're told in John 6, 37, All that the Father hath given me, and all that come to me, I will in no wise cast out. It is the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. Well, we're living in days when many people are fearful. We're told to fear not, little flock. It is Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And we are also reminded that Jesus said he's the great shepherd of the sheep. He said all that came before me are thieves and robbers. John 10. They tried to climb up some other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And we also see that there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Whenever we think of the term little flock, we also think of the remnant. The remnant.
the remnant is mentioned 91 times in the Bible. Isaiah 10, 21, the remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty God. Romans 11, 5, even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Well, Isaiah, the prophet said in Isaiah 10, 22, For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the seed, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decreed shall overthrow with righteousness. Romans 9, 27, Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Micah 7, 18, Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. We're talking about the little flock. Amos 5.15 It may be that the Lord of God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Isaiah 1.9 Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a small remnant we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Well, we've talked about the remnant, we've talked about the little flock. Let's talk about those who are not the remnant for a little bit. Not all people on the face of the earth are the remnant of God and we hear many different descriptions of those who are not the remnant wolves in sheep's clothing um, goats we're told in the book of Revelation that he will separate on the left hand the goats and on the right hand the sheep you know so you cannot have sheep without having goats you can't have elect without having reprobates you can't have vessels of honor without having vessels of destruction there is a contrast, a major contrast. And all of God's creation, all of his, all the people that he's created on the face of the earth are not his sheep. Jeremiah 6.30 Reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord hath rejected them. 2 Timothy 3.8 Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resi resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Romans 1.28 And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Titus 1.16 they profess they knew God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable in disobedience and into every good work reprobate. You can't have sheep without having goats. You can't have elect without having non-elect. You can't have 
uh, a remnant without having those who are not a part of the remnant of God. You can have a flock of sheep without having a flock of goats. So when we talk about when we're addressing the flock and we say, Fear not, little flock, for it's the Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. We're not talking about all men without exception. We're talking about the flock. We're talking about the remnant of God. We're talking about those He's chosen in Him from the foundation of the world. We're talking about those who have been predestinated unto adoption. Well, that's kind of what's on my mind this, this evening. And so I'm going to turn this around. We're going to sing that song, Fear Not, Little Flock. And uh, that's found on page... coming up and I hope that you'll remember that we are the little flock of God. May God be with you today in a special way is my prayer. God bless.